whims after he did it, after he obviously knew he was going to get ejected from the game and get a 15-yard penalty and all that, he was flexing. Like, on, like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I do. Like, that's what he was – and it was it was in – Sanity what happened last night. I assumed it was probably because Wims learned that CJ GJ wasn't registered to vote, but after seeing it this morning, I guess CJ Get off my damn phone. Yeah, I guess he uh I guess he what what just happened there? You all right? Man, no 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 just, just that every time I look at my phone it's something about damn voting or something. <laughs> Exercise. Watch out, Wim's gonna come after you. I think everyone should. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to, then don't. I don't I mean do your thing though. Vote, exercise right there, I can vote through the polls. But yeah, man, that 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 shit was wild. That had to be some personal beef. Um and then I, I saw the, the other the play before, and I don't know if it was a play before when the other guy snatched his mouthpiece off before, but for him to go back to the huddle, come back, line up again. Do his thing, run his little route, and then go back and handle that. Like, he had to calculate that shit. He had to go, all right, I'm playing tonight for free. Uh, I'm going to be sent to the locker room. And likely, I'll probably lose my job. We all get that, hey, protect the shield message before the season. We all get, be a team player, don't be selfish. So that, that shit was wild, man. Had to be some personal shit behind that. Be who you can afford to be is a big deal. I'm not sure Wims can afford to be anything like what he was last <laughs> night. Any of his actions just pieced together by themselves, I'm not sure. The flexing <laughs> on the team, probably not enough to do that. No. Uh, the ripping of the chain, probably not enough to do that. The first punch, probably not enough to do that. And then that second wild slap, probably yeah. not enough to do that. So there was like four different things I don't man. think Wims could do. But they said this morning, somebody went back and watched it. In the previous drive, I guess, CJ, GJ, uh, came and snatched Wims's mouthpiece off of his helmet yeah. and then threw it down. Then he goes on the sideline, and it was at like 5.20 when that happened, uh, or 5.10. 11 minutes had gone by, okay, where he was on the sideline. He goes oh, back wow. out there. Then he does it. Yeah, so he was sitting on that for 11 minutes. just like, I can't believe this guy grabbed my fucking <laughs> mouthpiece in the middle of a pandemic. And then he goes over there and does that whole thing. <laughs> there's ways There's ways to get back at CJGJ there that don't revolve around being an absolute idiot, I would assume, right? Yeah, I mean, shit. Cut block, lay block in the back, lay shove here and there. And we, you know, you... It happens during the game. You got chirping back and forth. It's a physical game, whatever. You know, shit happens. But to take it that level, like you said, I didn't know it was the 11-minute gap. I thought it was the next play because I'm like, so he went to the sideline, went to, like, that's, that. I mean, that that makes absolutely no sense. It's not worth it. If it's, if it's that that deep, we saw uh, Aaron Donald. You know, after the game, he took his pass off one game, put his helmet back on, and went and, you know, met somebody at the field. Hey, meet, meet me at the bus. You know, if it, it's certain ways to handle disrespect, than to do it like that and, and probably lose your job. I hope you don't lose his job, but we 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 all seen people get fired for less, so we'll see. It's just incredibly, and this is going to sound bad, but it's incredibly selfish. Like everybody thought oh, he yeah, was, sure. everybody thought he was making up for his teammate because of a point in the face earlier or whatever. And it was, he's sticking up for his teammates. It's like no, he's fucking over his teammates. Okay, that's what he's doing. He just got a 15 yard penalty. I think Foles either threw a pick or almost threw a pick the next play. <laughs> and your offense has absolutely been terrible. Yeah, that's a exactly. selfish move. Like like a lot of people think. Like for instance, when Pouncey attacked uh, Miles Garrett. That game was over with already. That game was done. He was sticking up for a teammate. Like, there's yeah. there's ways to go about sticking up for your teammate that aren't considered selfish and kind of screwing over your entire team. I assume Wims has had some long conversations today with a lot of people. I, I assume there's <laughs> you a... Gotta, you got to find a happy medium between what the Dallas O-line o and offense did <laughs> and what Wims did. You got, it's, it's, a, it's a wide gap in there that you got to find <laughs> in there to say, all right, I'm going to have my teammates back. But that, that, was, that, was some, that was some bullshit. There was like four different skirmishes on the field yesterday, by the way, around the league. There was like four or five different fights. And I was like, oh, what week are we in? Eight. Oh, yeah, because the beginning of the season's too far away. And there's no light at the end of the tunnel. We're right in the middle of like the – Right in the middle. Right in the middle of the wall that hits. And yeah, you're going to see some testy players probably for the <laughs> next couple of weeks, let alone on top of all this COVID shit <laughs> that's popping off. It is probably going to be a bit tense. Uh,